Hello and welcome to another karting video. This is from uh, round three of the Club 100 Sprint 60 Championships from the Lid circuit in Kent. The weather for this weekend really couldn't have been any more different from the previous round at Wilton Mill being dry, sunny and possibly a little too warm. Lid is one of the fastest tracks we race at all year and requires you to use quite a bit of the kerbs in order to get a quick time. Uh, I struggled a little bit at this track last season uh, from a physical point of view and found myself feeling uh, quite beaten up <coughs> after the weekend even though at that time it was only uh, sprint races and not the longer 30 minute races of sprint 60 on to practice and qualifying I didn't have too bad a session and managed to qualify in the middle of the super heavyweight class although I did do my fastest lap of the entire session in practice uh, instead of during the qualifying part of the session uh, but overall I wasn't too unhappy uh, when it came to qualifying I tried to follow some of the faster guys although this just ended up holding me up and I lost a bit of time uh, not really managing to take full advantage of following someone that was quicker than me. Overall I felt reasonably comfortable and was looking forward to the first race uh, reviewing the times after the session. Uh, it was quite tight a number of people around me fairly close so I felt sure I'd probably have a chance to make some progress once the race started. So on to race one. Uh, I made a reasonable start here, managed to keep pretty close to the guy in front of me um, and we make it through the first chicane without any issues, uh, making a bit of progress coming out of the first chicane. Coming into the second chicane, uh, someone in front of me uh, is going very slowly for some reason, forces me wide and I lost a whole bunch of places. Uh, taking avoiding action so coming in, into the far end of the circuit for the first time I, I'd slip back a bit from my starting position but luckily I, I wasn't too far behind so managing to keep up with the train of carts in front of me coming round to the end of the first lap So again coming up to the first chicane, managed to make it through there without any problems, uh, keep nice and close to the guy in front of me. Coming into the second chicane, someone has a half spin in front and the guy takes avoiding action. Luckily I managed to squeeze through the inside and then uh, come across a set of uh, flying tyres as well. Again, managed to close up to the uh, train of carts in front. Um, now, even though this is a 30 minute race, um, uh, quite often, particularly down this end of the grid, the, the best chance you've got to make up places is during the first few laps before the field spread really starts to put, you know, pull people apart a little bit. So you can see these guys in front are all fighting each other like crazy. Uh, coming down to the far end of the circuit again, bit of contact, someone's forced wide and managed to make up two places.
coming onto the back straight you can see again we've got a train of carts luckily I'm able to close up on them so you know it's not too bad uh, we all seem to be quite evenly paced as well As you can see the cart in front here is, is trying to make a move on that guy. I, I was a kind of half tempted to attempt to throw it up on the inside but there wasn't there wasn't really enough space. The guy in front seems a little bit slow coming out of the corners so I can close right up here and just he leaves a massive gap coming into this corner I just threw it down the inside um, he, I'd seen him do that a couple of laps previously I don't know whether it's just the line he took but certainly it was uh, it was far too tempting to pass up unfortunately kind of getting past there I, I, I'd lost quite a lot of ground to the guy in front here um, and over the next few laps I was never really quite able to close up enough to ever try and overtake and eventually as the race went on um, start lap, uh, faster traffic started to become an issue and again I never never quite closed that gap it, it kind of stayed uh, similar to this all the, all the way through On to race two. I'm starting the footage here from from the warm lap lap actually as we come out of the pits because uh, this is pretty much where my problems started. Um, when I first applied the brakes uh, coming into the, the first chicane here, um, they just didn't feel right. Um, kind of a bit spongy, not not as sharp as I'd expect. Somewhat similar to the the feeling you get if you've run a normal car. Um, on a track day for example and towards the end of the day the pedal just gets a bit long and a, a, a bit spongy um, and and you'll, you'll see when we come uh, through to take the start I, I have real problems trying to slow the, the cart down into the, the first chicane um, just because the, the, the brakes really just don't feel like they want to bite as, as we'd normally expect. So a bit like race one, I'm, I make a reasonable start here, don't, I'm quite close to the guy in front, don't lose any ground. Now coming into the first chicane, touching once and then again I, I just can't get the thing to slow down I lose a whole bunch of positions through that contact and, and again I, I'm just really not comfortable with the way the car feels braking although you don't brake a huge amount around lid it's still very disconcerting when um, you can't get the cart slowed down the other problem that I noticed and it's quite apparent here uh, this guy rejoining from the grass is um, the cart just seemed to be down a bit on top speed as well um, looking at the the GPS uh, data it, it was maybe between one and two mile an hour slower on the back straight than the car I'd had in race one. I mean at this point I was seriously contemplating 
uh, coming into the pits to change carts. Uh, the, the problem with that is um, you lose a huge amount of time because you uh, you have to take the number plate transponder and in my case the camera off off your cart you're using and uh, move them over to the new cart. Um, so I just decided to stay out and, and see if I could drive around the problem. Thankfully, the, the brake issue did appear to, to improve a little bit, um, but there was, there was nothing I could do about the, the lack of top-end speed and, and at such a quick track, it just you know, really, really did hamper me a little bit. Um, and again, that's, that's kind of borne out by the fact that lap times in race two were just nowhere near what I'd been able to... Uh, I've been able to do in race one. So we're coming up behind our, our friend, our friend from race one. Um, managing to close up, but again, my lack of confidence around the brakes and the fact that I. Uh, you know, didn't really have the ultimate top end speed along that quite crucial back straight kind of hampered me a bit. So we're going to skip forward a few laps here uh, and I've now caught caught him up finally. It's taken me, I think, four laps to do that. So he comes out the final corner and he hits the kerb and he goes wide and loses a huge amount of momentum. So I'm just able to go over to take the inside into turn one and, and make the move stick. Luckily, I, I managed to close up on these two carts in front as well. The, the guy here goes really wide, completely compromises his line coming onto the back straight. And even with my not stellar top speed, I'm able to uh, get past him coming into the final corner. Jumping ahead again, the cart you can just about see it in front of us uh, passed me a few laps earlier, uh, but now we're at the point of the race where we're starting to be lapped by some of the front runners. In in general, I do my best to avoid holding them up, um, and if there's someone in front line battling like this guy here, uh, I'll try and use the faster guys as a way to overtake. I mean, often. Uh, you know, like me, hopefully they're polite and don't want to hold up the leaders. You know, they'll 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 take a line out of a corner that's less than optimal, or they'll break hev more heavily to allow the, the faster guys through. And often that just gives you an open door to, to get past them. Um, so, you know, it's kind of risk versus reward, I suppose. Do you, you know, stay with the person you're battling and potentially hold up? the faster carts behind or you know do you allow them through but stick close behind them so you potentially use them as an opportunity to get past because as you can see here the three or four guys in front are fighting uh, the guy here has had to take a definitely less optimal line through that corner and now I'm, I'm right back on him I've closed quite a lot in comparison to where this video started um, there's another reason why it's probably best not to be 
too aggressive or try and hold up faster people and you'll see that here um, I guess that's a racing incident uh, maybe the faster guy was being a bit optimistic thinking that the slower cart would let him through there but it worked out quite well for me I, I don't think I honestly don't think with the problems I was having that I would have been able to catch him up and, and pass him towards the end of the race I was, I was passed by another super heavyweight I've not included it on the video here but again that was simply down to lacking top speed uh, down this back straight and I was just a sitting duck and there wasn't really a great deal I could do to defend the move but having said that um, I still really enjoyed racing at Lid um, you know again had some good battles towards my end of the field um, felt I didn't drive too badly didn't make too many silly mistakes just the frustrating thing was the the, the car in race two but that's one of the challenges that you have with um, arrive and drive um, you know it's the first time really I've had a car where I could honestly say that I felt it felt like it was underperforming and it, it impacted me now that might be hopefully because I'm pushing the cart more now and expecting more from it but you know generally quite a positive weekend